hello guys welcome back to another video so in this video we will gonna see how to use open layers for basically publishing your vector data and overlaying your vector data on any base map uh, such as uh, osm base map any satellite base map on the webgis platform so we'll be seeing how to basically quickly overlay your uh, vector data such as point data um, polygon data line data onto the webgis onto the any base, base map without any server side dependency such as one way of is doing that you can publish your data inside the geo server then you can call the wms and wfs service and you can overlay the data over any base map on, on any webgis application but here we will directly use your vector data such as you have any shapefile data you can convert it into a geo geojson data and you can directly overlay it on the webgis using the open layers api so open layers api is basically a javascript front end api so which is very useful for developing any webgis application basically front end parts such as it has many built in functions such as zoom in zoom out and major length and all and on click you can get the pop up and feature info layer switcher so a lot of geographic basically functions gis functions are readily available in the open layers api so we will see how to quickly make a as you can see on my uh, screen these kind of maps very quickly you can generate such as if you have any point data you can show them in the different markers based on the attributes such as for hospitals for parks for different different uh, basically for schools so very quickly you can give different markers uh, different colors different points also you can generate a chloropath map like this is the example of covid cases statewide for indian state so you can give different color for the different classes and this is also if you you want to show point data like this is uh, for the covid cases only i have mapped state as a centroid of the polygon and then based on the number of cases you know, i have given the radius of the point so this can be achieved with directly using the open layers without any server side dependencies like previously uh, one can do one can push into the geo server your data then you have to create a sld file xml based styling inside the geo server then fetch as a wms service tiles of that data but here actual data you will overlay and you can get the basically uh, you can style them and you can fetch the data so for that we, we will use open layers api so first you have to download open layers like you just go on the google type open layers and you can basically click here version 6.5 and you can download the zip file of it here it is you can download the zip file from here and also we'll be using the third party plugin of open layers for layer switcher basically for switch on switch on and switch off your layers like here for switching between the base maps and for also switching off and switching off the your overlay data so you can type open layers third party plugins on the google here you, you will be able to find the all the third party plugin which are available so out of this you can download the open layer switchers over switchers and you can download the zip file from here download zip so after that what you can do you can create a folder and inside like uh, i have created a libs folder i have export uh, basically unzipped this open layers and op layer switcher third party plugin and open layers here just you have to unzip that and here we'll be creating our html file like i will be creating so in this uh, tutorial i'll be uh, someone in the comment in the previous video have asked me to code while recording the video so i'll try to write a code uh, while recording the video so most of the code i will write and few of i will copy paste and i will explain so this is the my empty test.html page so so from the scratch i will start so first of all what we have to do we have to import our libraries which we have downloaded so we will basically so let me first insert the html tag basic html tag in the page so just type html so now we have html page here now you just give the title of the page let me give it uh, open layers and now we will uh, import our libraries javascript library and styling so we can directly use those functions so i will copy these and i will just paste it here under my head here 
so as you can see here this is the libs folder inside the libs folder directly we are accessing this inside the libs folder we have version 6.5.0 and ol dash layer switcher so we are accessing the style styling part of it and also the javascript file dot js file all the source code we are accessing through these links so now after this was what we will do basically uh, inside the body and also we will give some style our own style we will style like uh, uh, for our map panel we will give the size width and everything so we'll create a style tag also html here this is our style tag so we'll write our style tag here now inside the body we will uh, we'll create one html element uh, element div we will give id uh, we will give id to it id is equal to map we will give a name map id, map, uh, ID. and inside the style also we will give first we will define sorry html comma body so you can define any like basically width height or let me define font only font on the html font family so we'll take calibri you can define any font here and after that uh, uh, we will define our hash this map uh, map element also we will define the style for it so like width will be will take 100 percent 100 percent width of the map then height also will take 100 percent you can change this according to your need and also position can be relative or i will take it as absolute so now we have defined a html element we have styled it also and the font of our html page now we will start coding basically so inside the body now we will define our script javascript we will write javascript so script so inside this we will write our javascript code so what one can do basically in, instead of writing this style here you can give your uh, you can create a new dot css file here uh, like where wherever your page is you can uh, create a file dot css and you can give the link here and also same for this javascript you can create a file uh, javascript file dot js file you can write code here and you can give the link here but i am i will be writing uh, css and javascript in the same page so from here so first of all what we will do basically we will define a variable using the open layers like view this is the direct function from the open layers where view is equal to now first of all we will define the new view so we will write new well dot view so this is our map view basically now bracket curly bracket now in this thing two three things you have to define first you have to define the projection like i will be using the basic projection epsg you have to define according to your data whatever data you are using you have to define that projection then second thing you have to define after the projection center of the map Here you have to give the latitude longitude so i will be giving such as 75 78.0 25.0 this is my center of this will be my center of the map when we will open the uh, html page open the webgis then zoom on what zoom level you want to map, map to be open so i will be giving five so now you have defined the view now we will define a map so we'll create a new variable variable map is equal to new open dot map in the bracket and curly bracket now here what you have to define you have to define two three things first on which element you want to render this map like we have defined here map this one and this element map so you have to define here target of the map basically so we'll write here target and just write map 
is the same name should be similar to this and this and after this you have to define view and view is view basically we have given the name variable view so whatever name you give here you have to give the same name here okay so now we have defined our map also so now i will save it and we will see how our map looks like if we open this HTML. So as you can see, the zoom in, zoom out, two buttons are there. It means you have successfully uh, basically rendered a map using the Open Layers API. Now you have to add some layers into it, in it. So we will add first. We will add a base layer, like OSM and Satellite. Two kind of layer we will add in this. So for that we will define here in between view and map. Let me just type where OSM new variable. Here you have to define the layer, so we'll define new OL dot layer dot tile. Okay. So bracket and curly bracket. So this is our inside this you have to define uh, two two three things. One is type, what type of layer it is. It is a base layer or a overlay. So if we'll write base. And second thing you have to define whether it is visible uh, you, you can define title also okay so let me give title here i'll give osm only comma uh, then visible visibility of this map is true okay now after this we will define the source we have to define the source of the osm so uh, in open layers directly you can write new ol dot source dot osm so it will fetch the osm data directly okay so now we have created a base map for osm so we'll create a, a another layer such as satellite so we'll create a layer group so let me first create a layer group uh, layer group for basically base map so i'll base maps this is this is this will be our layer group in this all the base layer will be grouped such as satellite and osm2 will create so new well dot layer dot base. okay bracket curly bracket here you can give the title of it so we will give the very simple title base maps okay After this, you have to give the layers only, whatever layers you want to add inside of this. So right now we have only one layer, so we'll give OSM and we'll see. So inside the base layer group, we have added the OSM base. Now you have to add this base map into the uh, your map. So what we'll do map dot add layer. And here, here we will write layer this layer group base underscore map this one so now we will add our layer group into the map and now we will refresh it and we'll see how our map looks like we should be able to see so now there is some problem let me inspect okay there is this token in line 47 okay here we have forgot to add the colon now i think it should work so now you can see the OSM layer has been added. So now we will add another layer, satellite base map. So I will be copying this similar here and just paste it again and I will change the source only. Here I will just change the name satellite and title also I will change satellite. And the source we will change. So I will copy paste the source from because I have taken it from the internet. So I will just directly take from one of my web page. Here it is. This source I will. This is the freely available source of satellite base map. So I'm using that only. Here it is. So now I will save it. This satellite just I will add it here. Dot. Satellite. So now if we save it, we should be able to see two layers. 
so the, now two layers are added one is satellite one is OSM but you know you're not able to switch between these two so for that what we have to do we can use this layer switcher so you can directly go and you can copy paste from here let me copy paste from my earlier page directly where is the layer switcher yeah this is the layer switcher so like this is my layer switcher so now we have added the layer switcher layer switcher is equal to new ol dot control dot layer switcher so this is the third party plugin so you need to first import the css file and the uh, source file javascript file of it also we download it and unzip it in the folder so now if we will run this page we should be able to switch between the as you can as you can see now so you can switch between the satellite and osm so we have added the layer switcher successfully so uh, now we have added a base map we have added the layer switcher so now we'll see how to add your own data basically own data overlay your own data over this base map so we'll see two three kind of data first is the markers means point data and then we will see the polygon data and again the point data so for that basically first if you if you basically if you want to show only two three points not more than two three points so if you have a location of them so what you can do basically you can directly write here you do, do not need any vector layer so you just directly create where uh, marker you can create any marker i am giving the name marker is equal to um, new over dot feature so you are creating a feature basically directly you can create a feature here and in, inside this you have to basically define the geometry because any feature has two three things one is geometry other is attribute so you can give geometry and here you have to define the what kind of geometry it is so new well dot geo dot whether it is point line or polygon you have to define that then bracket this bracket you have to define the latitude and longitude of the point suppose i will give any random point latitude longitude over the indian region so this is my first uh, this is the geometry then if you want to define any attribute such as let me give any type attribute and give the name such as hospital this is the attribute will be added the feature and again second attribute so you can give n number of attribute like this so let me give uh, a test i'm just giving it random name so now this is the one marker we have added after that like this you can add another marker so just copy this and paste let me give marker one and let me change the latitude longitude a bit 75.50 mm. let me give it 32 off and type i will give uh, let me give park or something i'll i'll give some uh, different name to it let me give it park and name let it be test one so now we have two markers two points now you have to add it onto the map so you have to add it to a particular vector layer so what we will do basically we will define a new vector layer now you give any name i will give vector layer only this is the name so new ol dot layer new ol dot layer dot vector dot vector this is the function for creating a vector file then here what you have to do basically you have to define source of it you can give the title you can first give the title let me give the name poi point of interest and then okay title should be small and then here you can give after that you have to give the fee, uh, source of it like every vector layer you have to give source in the base map also you have given the source so you have to give, define new oval dot source dot simple vector because you are defining your feature here there is no other source so you just define vector and here you you have to define features only you just write features colon you just give your name of the features let me give marker 
कर पाए सो नाउ वी शुड बी एबल टू सी दिस ऑन टू द मैप बट बिफोर दैट वट यू हैव टू राइट मैप डॉट एड लेयर दिस फंक्शन एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट राइट द नेम ऑफ द वैक्टर लेयर so now if i run this okay if you want to add it to the basically the layer switcher also so one what you can do just call this function every time you add a new layer just call this function automatically it will be added to the layer switcher also okay i'll refresh it okay there is 900 unexpected token let me check okay okay sorry i have to close this also so i forgot to close this because you have to close this source also and then you have to close the main so i forgot to now it should work again 107 i don't know what is happening 107 okay this i have to okay i have given here so i have to remove this yes now you can see you have poi layer but you you you'll be able to see two points this is the by default symbology of it so you can switch on switch off also this so now what we will do basically we will give a style to it so uh, a typical style of in the vector layer in the open layers uh, is given like this let me sh first show you mm -hmm. we show you some feature this is the basically uh, a typical if you see the typical kind of uh, this is the typical style like new oval dot style you define style like this in the three things are there fill stroke and image fill is for basically polygon if you want to fill in what color so you have to give the rgb color and this is the opacity transparency of it then stroke is for the line and polygon boundary also so for polygon any polygon you have to give these two things and for line you have to give only stroke and for image this is basically your uh, your point will look like a circle like this if i give like this and color of the circle will be like this this will be the radius so for the point what i will do first i will give a pretty simple let me make a pretty simple highlights style let me give up square this is a style and i will remove these two from here this fill and stroke and i will use this directly this is style okay so here in vector layer nothing you have to do just you have to add a function called style and just give the name of the function as tyl this is style we are giving only this name so now our point should look like something different with the radius of 10 as you can see now the radius has increased the color is blue so now if you want to give any image to it any image kind of thing so how we will give that we will see it's uh, pretty simple only you have to you have to give the path of that image let me show you one style yes like this so instead of this i will copy paste this one so you give img you are giving the any png file to it you are anchoring it anchor unit fraction pixel you are just giving the image so what i have done basically i have created a folder called img inside that there, there are these are the for hos hospital hotel flag marker so i am giving hos so now our point should look like something that is the image so now you can see we are now having this points will, will look like as but now if you want to differentiate between you want to give different kind of picture to the different kind of based on the attributes so what i will do we will write a function i'll just show you i will copy this i, I have written a function for this here i will copy paste this function so look looking like a pretty long code but not uh, it's very simple 
so i have two things so i will remove this i have uh, two kind of point attributes in park uh, sorry hotel and uh, hospital and park so i will so i have created a variable get style one is going to function feature dot uh, comma resolution so based on the feature attribute this is the feature dot get type wherever the hospital attribute is there it will give this image wherever the attribute park is there it will give this image so as in our mark while defining the marker we have basically given the as you can see here attribute type hospital type park so now just you have to give this style to it so here inside this is style you have to call this function only function feature comma resolution and return get one style so this function it will call while styling the layer so this function is called and based on the attribute it will give this now if you will save this and we will see this so now both are having different kind of basically uh, different kind of images to different like if you have 10 kind of uh, attributes you can what you can do uh, you can give else if else if 10 times here just give the name here differently okay so now this is for if you have one or two points suppose if you have n number of points you have hundred and thousands of points like this i have plotted some random data poi this is so many points are there so inside of the attribute of this there are type name and photo i have given the photo also this is the html tag of the photo and i have created this folder here photograph so in the attributes you can see the photo also this is the photo inside one photo is there so i have given this the html tag for photo defining photos slash this is the path the photos folder inside up.png this is the height of width of the folder so inside the attribute i have given the uh, html tag of the uh, photograph so when you click on the feature you will be able to see the photograph also so now what we will do this is the shape file so what you can do you can directly export it as a geojson save feature as like this instead of shape file you just select here geo json like this so you can save this file and after that you can copy paste this file inside your folder here like i have kept it puy data geojson this is the file so what we will do in the code we will remove this uh, basically these markers we do not need these markers now inside the vector layer what we will do we will change this only source okay we will, we will change the source only otherwise everything will be will remain same uh, so let me give the source of the point file so here we will remove these features so inside this vector new oval dot source dot vector what we will give you have to give the url of your data so either you, what you can do if you have data inside your geo server also you can give the url of the wfs feature wfs url here so you can load the data from there also but if you have geojson file directly so you just give the url here so what i will give i will just directly give because my data is in the uh, same folder so i don't do not need to give the path i will just uh, copy this because it is in the same folder where the html page is so i will give like this and here now one more thing you have to give you have to give the format of this what kind of format you are using basically you can use kml you can use geojson gml so we will be we are using like we are using the geojson so we will give format here new ol dot uh, format dot geojson so we call this and this url contains our data this is our format and this is style again we will base we will style based on the attribute so but now we have and uh, two three kind of attributes in this hospital park so i have written, already written the function only i have added two three th again i just copy these two in between hotel and restaurant two two more kinds of attributes are there hospital is there park is there so just i will add inside this for these two so now you will be able to see the hundreds of points with the different kind of attributes 
I think there is some error here. 97. Let me check what is that. Okay, format. Here it should be format. The spelling of format was wrong. Now you can see all the data sets. You can switch on, switch off this. And if you click here, now if one more thing we can add here on click you can get the attributes also so for that i have written a pretty simple function we can uh, copy paste directly very simple so what you do first we will add a function pretty simple function after in the end like map this is also the uh, open layer function map dot on you can write here on click you want to see the attributes so on click you just call any function so let me give any random name what should i give let me give highlight so it will highlight the feature also okay this is my map dot on on click it will call highlight function okay so what we uh, one more thing we want to do so let me first uh, end this and we will copy paste the function it's a very small function i will copy directly from here uh, this is my function yes so on click it will call this function it's not a big deal so as you can see uh, function highlight event it will create an event if this feature overlay is a new layer because we want to highlight the feature also whichever feature you are clicking it will highlight so what we have to do here we have to create a new layer also vector layer so you, when you click on the point particular that point will be highlighted so we'll create a new feature overlay this uh, will create new layer new dot layer dot vector this is our okay this is this should be dot now in this layer you have to define two three things you can define the title any title you can give uh, I like let me give or you, you have to define the source because right now source will be empty because we have not clicked uh, on any of the features so we'll let the source be empty new ol dot source dot simple source will make it but we'll let it be empty then we have to write map on what map we are earlier we have defined the variable map and if you have any style or style to it you can give in the style but right now we will not give any style will you we will see the by default uh, we will let application use the by default style so now we have created a new new vector layer so on click only it will be added so this is if feature overlay first it will clear whenever you click on the new feature earlier feature will be uh, will be removed from the map then this is the function it will call on each feature at pixel wherever on which pixel you are uh, basically clicking it will read all the features on the map whatever is two layer or three layers it will read all, all that and it will basically return the feature of it and if feature is there we are calling if feature is there then it will call the geometry and it will uh, get the coordinate of the event because we have to anchor the pop-up also there so inside the pop-up your attributes will be there so on this coordinate your pop-up will be anchored then feature overlay get source now it, we will add in the feature inside this layer so it will highlight this also and we will whatever information you want to add like I am adding the feature dot get type of that name and even photo also we are adding. So whatever features you want to add in the attributes, you can add like this. So for this few things we have to define uh, what we have to you have to define a pop up and you have to define a style of it. So first we will define an element HTML. So this is my HTML element. I'll directly copy paste this element here after the map. This is my HTML element pop up. And we will be using this class so we will de de uh, define this class in the style css here we will define and inside the pop-up pop closer means when you click on the close button pop-up will be closed and pop-up content will con uh, contain all the attributes so this is the html element now we will define the css of it so this is the whole css of the pop-up so we just you have to copy paste it you can change this css according to your need change the color and everything size and everything so now we have added this only one more thing you have to add a overlay to the map because when you click on the map a pop-up pop-up should overlay over the map so you have to add one more thing so 
this sir we will call this html element using javascript pop up pop up content pop up we are calling we are storing it in the variable then we are creating a overlay new oval dot overlay and then we will add this on the map these three things also we will copy and paste in our here before this we will add so we are calling the thing we are calling the get element by id html element these three pop up content pop up and pop up closer then we are creating a overlay over the map and this is the container of it this one inside this then on click on closer on click what will happen it will close the pop up now this overlay should be added to the map so what we will do here inside the map we have to define one more thing overlay we have to define only overlay and in this overlay we have to define that overlay so it should be i think overlays and you just give this and you, you have to define that overlay you have to which you have declared earlier so now, now i think we are good to go when we refresh this page when we click here so you can see hospital na type name and it is taking the photograph wherever the photo if photograph is not there it will give null so you have to give the photograph and also you can see it is highlighting the feature so that feature overlay vector layer which we are creating so like this you are getting the pop up also and this pop up closer is this so this is uh, now we have a basic page so using this you can add the your point data with different attributes based on the different attribute different markers you can show and you can also if you want to add some another wms layer let me add one more layer in this wms layer so because only points are not looking good we can add a any wms layer from our geo server i will add let me go and add here after the base map i will add one more layer mm -hmm. yes after base map i will do let me create one layer let me call in the as this is my layer so is equal to new oval dot layer this is the wms layer is always the image layer so we will type dot image and bracket bracket then you have to give the title to it i will give the same name india state comma then you have to give the source of it and source is from like i will call it from the geo server wms so i will give new dot source dot image wms okay bracket curly bracket close enter inside that you have to give the url for every data whether it's vector data or you have to give the url so i will give the url of the geo server so http local host my geo server has been installed in 808 sorry 8082 slash geo server slash wms we are calling the wms service after that we will define the parameters p a r a m s sorry colon here you can give the layers name layers you have to give the name of the layer from the geo server you can copy paste directly from there but i remember my name so this is the workspace india and layer is called india state so i define the layer and after that so i will give it to one and a comma server type we have to give server type we will give geo server because our data is coming from the geo server so now i think we have defined our wms layer here let me check yes this is fine now we'll create one more uh, layer group called overlays okay so we'll call it overlays is equal to new oval dot layer group okay this is my new layer group inside that you can give the title just as in the base layer you have given 
let me give overlays comma and then you can give your layers name here so right now we have only one layer we will add first we will add one layer then we'll see how to add dynamically second layer i will give the india state okay and after that i will copy paste this and i will add overlays in it overlays so now if you go on there is some error on 150 line there is some token error 150 new all source dot image wms okay oh, oh i forgot to give here this and here this this two i forgot so now as you can see now overlays has been added but your POI is coming over the overlays it should come inside the overlay India boundary has now come as you can see here so what while adding if you want to add inside the overlays one thing what you can do instead, instead of using map.add layer uh, like here vector layer we have added now map.add layer instead of this what you can do you just comment this and just you write overlays dot which layer group you have created get layers dot push and you just give the layer name vector layer this one so i think now your vector layer should come inside the overlays layer group now as you can see you switch off both are both can be switched off switch on and you can change this so now this is how you can generate your PUI map markers you can give different markers so there is no server side dependencies you have a shapefile just convert to GeoJSON and you can use this code now we will see how to generate this chloropath kind of map and this uh, map also point data but radius will be according to the data set so we have, I have a COVID data of India I'll show you how to do that so suppose I have this uh, shapefile data and inside this attributes lot of attributes are there of uh, COVID data from from last year of march to this year of the may so i think 200 or something at uh, more than 300 uh, attributes are there so this is the uh, shapefile data i have just you can right click and you can directly export it into the geojson from the qgis as earlier we have done with the point data and just uh, let me it will take some time to open yeah it has been open there are so many features as you can see so many attributes so you can use any of the attributes for like i will be using this last one attribute for creating the colors and chloropath map so you just right click and export similarly you can do you can create the select geojson here you can export it and just copy paste inside your folder where your application is so i have already cop copied it india covid case dot geojson so just i will inside our vector layer what i will do where is my vector layer this just I will replace this from here okay and let me make a comment of this style function so we should be able to see the polygon file but without any style let me refresh this and I, I can change this also POI this name, name also no, name also we have to change Let me give some other India COVID cases. So India COVID cases dot geojson. Okay, I forgot geojson. This I forgot to give the extension name. Now we will see. So India COVID cases, and you can see this is a pretty simple. This is the by default style of the vector. Now you have to you click here. You will be able to highlight the feature, but your 
undefined because you have to modify the name in the code also for the attributes that will modify and will change the colors also based on the attributes so now what we will see i will show you i have another uh, this is my which i have written this is the function i will explain this code it's a pretty long code otherwise it will take too much of time if, if i will write each and every line of it so i will directly replace this so now we will use two things only fill and stroke earlier we have used the image part of it so now let me delete this unnecessary things okay so this i will define inside the function only so this is my function get style one i will uncomment this so while styling the feature it will call this function this function and I have already, I, what I have done, I have divided the whole, uh, basically, uh, basically all the uh, features into seven classes. So it will give seven colors. So predefined, you have to define some seven colors. So I have defined from light brown to the dark brown. This is seven colors, so RGB value. This is the opacity, RGB opacity from light brown to the dark brown, seven colors. So I have taken any one value of the COVID cases, such as I will 30 lakh and I have divided into by seven. So I'm taking divided into seven. So seven classes it will create based on this uh, difference value. Now, if you want to basically this text is for labeling it. So you can define a variable text and feature dot get. This is my attribute in the vector data. And this is the style of the basically fill style of the, this is the font of the text and this, and for color from here, it will start. So when my feature value, if is greater than max means 30 lakhs, so it will give, I have given some color. I have given this color only the last dark, very dark brown. And after that, if value is below than max, it will create automatically seven classes. I have run the for, for loop. I is zero less than seven. I plus plus. So if, if the value is greater than zero and is less than equal to the one into the difference, basically divided by seven, that value. So it will create one class and it will give the color I. Color I means this one. This array we have defined color. So it will take this color and opacity. And for second class, it will take this color 2, color 3, color 4, color 5, color 6, color 7. Like this, it will automatically take the 7 color from the 7 classes here. So I will save it and I will run. Let me show you how it will look like. Also, we have to check for the attributes. We will change the name uh, here. Like, let me give the name of that attribute field 2021. And here, let me give state name. And I will remove this line. So now we should be able to see the colored map. Yes, as you can see. And if you click here, you will see the values and everything. So now you are able to give the style to the vector label directly without any server side dependencies. Also, it is showing the code. You can increase the font size and everything. That's, that is a pretty simple thing. You can change in the code. You can see the code and you can change. So this is for the chloropath map. You can give the color according to you. I very quickly I have given this color. So otherwise, you can uh, give the color. You can divide into 10 classes. You can predefine the 10 colors. So you can make it the value, maximum value also based on the attribute. You can I calculate the maximum value from that attributes and then you can make colors also that depends on you here particularly i have defined maximum value you can get it from the attributes also so now this is about the chloropath map now if you want to make this kind of map like you have point you want to change the radius according to the covid cases as you can see in the maharashtra covid cases are more so radius is it's pretty large here it is very pretty in goa it's low in north east side it is pretty low so i will show you how to do that also similarly you have you need to have point data like uh, i have point data here i have just converted the polygon to the point using the centroid and i have exported similarly to it from the save feature as then geojson feature here i have selected geojson and exported it and i just copied it into the same folder here it is this one india covid cases underscore point dot geojson so in my code i will just modify the here underscore the name in the vector layer only point and this style function let me same i will just replace this style function from my code 
what I have written. So this is my So I'll just copy paste that code here and then I will explain. This is so as you can see now I will remove this is the maximum value 20 lakhs I have taken this is the all okay I'll copy paste all of this here inside this. So in this uh, we have to for point we don't have to give the fill value and stroke value only the fill value of the point we will give the because we will give the some radius. So we have taken the maximum value 20 lakh again I have divided into 7 classes then I have created one color 250 this is the yellow color with opacity of 0.6 then this is color 1 basically the for boundary this is red color for the boundary as you can see in the map the yellow is the fill color this is the red color so I have defined uh, here created a variable for both the colors and I have created the fill new oval dot style dot fill then stroke and then again this text is similar this feature dot get this is the attribute name so it will label that and here we will define again this feature dot get uh, this is the attribute name greater than max so return this is style circle I am taking radius is 40 and fill is this one same color and stroke is the same and this is a text is we have already defined this text and after that again it, it has divided into seven classes below the max value and this is the function basically if i is equal to 0 then radius will be 5 and i is equal to 2 second class it should be 10 then 15 20 25 30 35 so that's how we have defined uh, defined the radius you can increase the radius according to you you can make it 10 times so i'll save it first i'll show you how it will look So like if I'll make it make let me make it 10 times of it or I will make it this also 10 times 400 so let me see how it looks like the radio as you can see the radius is huge so you have to give the radius according to your map resolution and everything like this this is quite suitable five times of it so now you, you are, if you click here you will be able to get the attributes also so Maharashtra is showing the largest radius so what you can do you can merge these two also here and this and these two you can you want to show as a chloropath also and it, you can overlay the point above that also okay so I'll show you you just need to copy paste again you just create a new layer let me do that also this is my point what I will do, I will create one more vector layer. Here. Let me give vector layer one and let me give this this one and this get style to this function. And I will copy my the similar this one here. Here it is. Just I have to change the name of the function. Let me delete all this which are not needed. I will define this colors inside the function of this get style. And I will give it get style too. Just you have to map dot add layer again. We have to give after this. Uh, let me give overlays dot get get layers push vector layer 1 so I think we should be able to see two layers now yeah two layers are there but I am not we are not able to see let me inspect it Okay, style 2 is not defined. Let me check what is the error. Okay, here it is. I have to give this name to get style 2 because this is get style 2 function in this layer.
yeah now you can see you have both the so i'll remove the text from it because label from both the the layers are coming so i will remove the text from here so let the label come from only one layer so now this is your map you can switch on switch off any of the map you can click on anything you will get the information so this is how you can style the your vector layer directly without using any server side depends because one or two people commented on my video that how to give different color to the different markers on the base of the attribute so you can use directly this otherwise you can publish your data inside the geo server and uh, you can directly style your data there using the uh, sld uh, basically xml code you can create as using sld descriptor language and you can another option is there you can uh, create a style here and you can export the style in the sld file and then you can upload in the geo server that is a different way but directly if you want to work with the vector layer without any server side dependencies so just download the open layers convert your data to the geojson or kml any anything and just directly you can uh, give the style to it so like this you can do so hope you have liked this video so give a thumbs up to this video and please subscribe the channel and share this uh, the video to the your friends so thank you. Thanks for watching this video.